Welcome, welcome, guys. We have here today Delgetto. At least I'm hoping I'm saying that correctly. If I if I haven't, let me know. Rip me apart in the comments below. But uh, we have Delgetto, um, an SR unit that has just came out today. He is a strength unit. And on first glance, if you're looking over his uh, usefulness, um, he's not really slated as far as what people have generally rated him at um, in PvP or farming, but he does have an interesting usage. Now, it's, it's going to be more of uh, his defense and... Um, kind of crowd control. So let's let's kind of jump right into here. So his first ability is going to be dealing uh, an okay amount of damage. It's not it's not fantastic, um, but he can prevent the ultimate move gauge from filling up um, for one to two turns. Now this is a little different than the uh, characters that we've had up to this point, where they'll actually remove some of uh, the gauge. And in certain circumstances, depending on how fast uh, or how many uh, of the enemy there is. Say there's one enemy, but they are ramping up really quickly because they can have three in a row. This could be far more useful than just removing, say, with like Bond's ability um, to remove just like one, two, or three, especially if you get it to that two turn. So I actually like this a little bit more. So depending on the scenario, He's actually a better use uh, character than some of the, the mainstream. Now, I'm not saying rank him up over those necessarily. Just saying that if you do happen to have this champion and you are having a hard time, this could be a potential workaround for that. So I was actually surprised by this because he is not a champion or a character that is used very often on JP from what I have seen. Uh, but he does have a couple scenarios where he's probably going to excel in regardless of kind of what I've been seeing others say um, about him. His uh, second burst combination is going to inflict ruin, which is going to deal more damage the more debuffs um, are on the opponent. Now, here's the thing about that, though. It's going to remove the debuffs afterwards, um, which they could be falling off already. Um, but there is a chance for you to just do more damage and 20% to be honest with you really isn't all that big of an increase at that point um, I haven't seen very many times where uh, an enemy will have more than like five or they'll fall off or something like that So This one uh, is almost kind of deceptive a little bit in how good it could turn out to be uh, but it do can do more damage on that. This is the other one that we want to take a look at. So canceling buffs and stances and inflicting damage um, almost at 500% and then on top of that stunning. And I actually really like that one. Um, it seems like that does a ton of um, extra uh, features on this one. It kind of just stacks on top of each other. And on top of everything else um, with his passive, this is, this is a little odd wording. So how it's going to work is he's going to increase the defense of strafe units by 30%, which 30% is actually a pretty good amount. Um, but you're also going to probably need a healer on top of that. Um, so I would say that if you were going to kind of be playing this defensive role with him, you would probably want to use Red Hostess. Um, Elizabeth um, but again he's not gonna be a champion you're probably gonna be building up over a lot of like SSR or mainstream characters but I am saying that there are certain circumstances where he could possibly shine it it almost is like in a way like a meme kind of build like he's not useless he's just not the best champion um, for a lot of scenarios so I actually look forward to eventually pulling him um, almost just to like try him out and see kind of almost like force him to be a part of uh, the team. But you're not going to be probably seeing this a lot in PvP and you're probably not going to see too many times in the story where he's really going to shine. Um, just a couple of scenarios there where he might be better for those ultimate move gauge um, kind of scenarios. Um, but yeah, that is Dogetto, uh, our Pleiades of the Azure Sky, our second one uh, that was released in the patch right now. 
If you did like this breakdown or you have something to add, uh, put it in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to sub. And uh, if you want to catch us playing this game live, uh, check the comments and the information below for the uh, Twitch channel. Thank you so much and uh, have a good day, guys.